Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the ball joint on the wishbones on the Mark III Mondeo. I've already started, because well, I've got them off the car, so I thought I might as well change them. So this is like a between video. So let's crack on and show you how to do this off the car. Some people wouldn't go to the, the hassle of replacing the ball joints. I've already got a start here, look, as you can see, because I've got the, the, the wishbones off to do the poly bush install, and I thought, well, I might as well do it. So I'm gonna crack on and do it. I'm gonna use a Dremel, because that's what I've got access to for now, but maybe in the near future, I will invest in an angle grinder. Um, so you can use on the car, but a lot of people go, what's the point? You might as well change the whole wishbone. So the reason why I'm not changing the whole wishbone and with the new ball joint, is because I'm doing the poly bush install and it just made sense I've got them off the car I might as well cut the old ones out and um, yeah replace them so I'm gonna crack on with the video and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it so it might not be your way of doing it some people might drill them out I'm lucky enough to have a press so I'm gonna cut the top of the rivets off and then push them out from the top uh, if you haven't got a press I'm guessing the best way to do it would be to drill them out if any of you guys know any ways you can help other guys out by doing this, just put it in the comments below. So I've rubbed it on enough now. Let's crack on and get this video done. And then I can get back on, crack on with the the, the, the poly bush uh, installed on the wishbones. So let's crack on. Okay, so I've got the first one out. I've done it off the camera because I forgot to obviously hit the button. But I managed to get my Dremel working off my inverter again outside here. And what I've done was I cut the top rivet off, as you see, uh, and heated this up, whacked it a few times with a hammer and it weren't budging. So I resulted into using my press. And what I've done is, where is it? I've got the, a little bolt like this, sat it over, and I just kept um, the press going on it and eventually it just popped out. I did give this a bit of heat as well, that will help. But if you've not got access to a press like this one, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to buy one. Or if you know someone that's got one you can borrow for five minutes. This job is doable at home. Um, another way you can probably do this is I'd imagine you can drill these out straight through the centre. That's quite a big thick piece of metal to drill through though. Uh, but would I recommend actually doing a job at home? Yes, you can do it at home if you've got the right tools. So the aim of my videos is that uh, I show you with basic tools, or right, I've got a 12 ton press now, um, how to get these out. So a lot of people may just go, do you know what, what's the point? Uh, but it's the satisfaction of doing it yourself. I'm changing the pot, the bushes on this wishbone to poly bushes from Flowflex. And I thought, well, I've got new ball joints, so I might as well put them in as well so most people just go and buy a new wishbone but because I've gone this far with it with the the poly bushes I thought I'd just strip out the ball joints and um, get them replaced as well in a minute I'm gonna crack on getting the rest of these out and I'll take you along for the ride and show you how I've done it let's crack on
Okay, I believe now the whole rivet is cut off. I know a lot of people are thinking you can use a gr an angle grinder to cut these off. Yes, you can, and it would be a lot quicker. Um, but I've only got access to a Dremel, so that's what I use until I invest in an angle grinder. Now, what's left to do is um, stick it in the press and um, see if I can push it out. Okay, so as before, I'm going to use a bolt like this, pull it over the centre of the rivet, just tighten everything up. So I'm going to put it over the centre of the rivet, take the slack up. Remember to always wear safety goggles. You look closely, you can see it's, I know it's lifting up at one side and it's a pain in the back side. So there might be something I need to do, maybe get a big C clamp or something, but let's let's give it a few pumps to see what happens. You can actually see there you go, it's moving. Let me get bring closer up so you can see. As I've moved the camera, you can just see where it's sitting in, and it is pushing out. You can just I can just about see it under there. So, and that's it. Another one out. Look. So as you can see, it does work, it's a good bit of kit, and I've got another, I've got another one out, long way to do it, I know, uh, if I had an angle grinder, I'd cut through these in seconds, and uh, they'd be out, it'd be quicker, so until I invest in one of them, I've got my Dremel, I'm just going to carry on with the Dremel, so you've seen that happen there, I'm going to get the next one out, and then I'll bring you back in a minute once this one's out. And um, as you can see, the hydraulic, uh, the hydraulic press does actually work. So it's a good bit of kit, I recommend it. Um, what I'll do is to this one, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so you can buy the same piece of kit here. They're about £70 to £80. Um, but it's worth it. Now, with the bushes on this, here and here, um, I have noticed it. there's... I'm gonna to have to do some modifications to it. I ended up having to burn them out. So this video will probably be out before the poly bush install on the wishbones on this. So I'm gonna crack on and once I've got this other rivet out, I'll bring you back in. So I've got the last rivet out. Just see if I can move this bit of metal here. And once all the rivets are out, what happens is it just slides it out, and that's it. Ford should have designed this with bolts in the first place, to be honest. So you get one out, and then with the new one, it is literally just slide it back into place, line all your holes up, get all your new bolts, and washers out the kit. three then you just put your washers on the bottom these are uh, what size are these let me check I think they're about 17s yep 17s and once you get them all into place just get a wider shot Uh, 
just do them up. I'm not going to do them up fully because I'm going to give it a lick of paint first. And that's it. Like I say, I'm not going to tighten these up yet. Because what I plan to do now is before I put this in place, I'm going to give the wishbone a quick uh, coat of paint, freshen it up. And then I'll crack on with the poly bush install on the wishbones. And then I can tighten up this uh, ball joint. So if you enjoyed the videos, hit that like button down below and considering that subscribe button. So like I say, you can do this on the car. If you've got an angle grinder, it'd probably be a lot easier and a lot quicker. I use my Dremel because that's what I've got access to. So maybe in the near future, I will invest in an angle grinder. But it's a bit, it is a ball ache of a job. You can do it at home. Um, some people would probably drill, drill them out because that's what they've got access to and that's probably a decent way to do it. I've got access to a press here. As you see, push it, I'll cut the top off for the rivet and push them out. Um, and it made it quite nice work. So you can pick these up cheap, as I've said. I'll put a link to one in the description. And um, well, that's it for another video. So the next video you'll see after this one will be me putting the poly bushes in here and putting it back in the car. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.